Welcome. In front of me is a Yulephone Armor X7 Pro, and today I'll show you how you can bypass the Google verification on this device. So, to get started, uh, I do want to mention that you can see clearly the device is locked right here. It's telling me to draw the verification pattern to unlock it, and also I can use a Google account instead to unlock it in an alternative way. Now, we are assuming that we don't know either one of those. So to get started with the bypass, we're gonna first back out to the beginning of the setup. Now we do want to connect to your network. So I have already done so, but obviously if you haven't connected to your network, just go through it a little bit. And I believe it's after you select skip, you should have this show up. Select your Wi-Fi and then back out to the first page and choose emergency call, emergency information, and in here, we're gonna click on the edit option and then select add contact. Tap on the search option. This will bring up a keyboard. And here you want to select the microphone icon. And once you do though, it should not be working. It should give us an option, which is very interesting that it actually works without requiring permission to the actual microphone, which is fantastic. Um, Try that again, maybe. Okay, I guess it works now. Uh, now it actually requires access to it. So, um, not sure why the phone decided to, for a brief moment, uh, violate privacy purposes or just general, like, you know, you love or is, but whatever. Uh, we're gonna select deny and then we're gonna repeat this a couple more times. Now, in your case, it should be one more time, but I guess the phone just completely went dumb here. Um, and uh, in any case, we can select uh, deny and don't ask again. And then we're gonna click on it once more and then select allow. And this will take us to a different page. In here, we're gonna now select, once I actually catch up with the guide. Okay, so here we're gonna select permissions and then search type in settings and this will show us a bunch of different results I believe but we're looking for ones that are at the very end where it says just settings app info click on it and then select open from here uh, we want to select security so just scroll down to security and then choose screen pinning you want to enable it and then you want to also enable the other option which is like device when unpinning and next choose some kind of uh, protection for it now as you probably recall if you don't you can go back to the beginning of the video uh, one of the unlocking methods for me was a pattern so I mentioned this because I am going to select something completely different like pin. Now in the guide that I am basing this on, which is on our website, uh, it does state that to select pattern, but in reality it doesn't really matter. Uh, what this basically does, this kind of method, is it overrides the old, uh, old verification method. And the reason this works is because Android can only apparently keep only a single one of the unlocking methods so it can only have in in memory pin pattern or password and if you obviously one of those and if you for instance have a pattern as a verification method you could still select pattern draw your desired pattern and it can't have two different patterns memorized so it will just override the other one and now it, that new one that you have chosen will become the new verification method now uh, because there is nothing stopping me from for instance, selecting a pattern that is the exact same one uh, that is already used on this device as a ver verification method, I'm gonna use a pin, just so there is no misconception that I am just kind of cheesing this somehow. So anyway, let's select pin. Choose our pin. I'm gonna select a very simple one, like one, two, three, four. If, you, if you're following uh, the same thing that I am, you can also choose this, this simple pin. Now, in terms of selecting a uh, fingerprint select skip we don't need a fingerprint and once you have chosen that we're gonna hold our power button and we're gonna select restart
And as you can see right away, it tells us to, ver to basically unlock the device. It's a typical locked screen when you boot up the device. Um, even though we are still in the setup, the device gets a little bit confused because, well, the device should have been already set up for this to show up. In any case, now we can just go through the setup. You can see that the device is still locked. We do still have the lock icon in there. Select don't copy. And as you can see, it's telling us to verify our pin now, which before it was a pattern. So we're gonna press one, two, three, four. Boom. And this unlocks the device. And there we go. Now for some reason, the little lock icon is still visible, but we can just select skip now. And it should disappear, there we go. Now from here, you can finish up the setup in whatever way you want, but I do recommend going through it right now and then performing a factory reset of the device through settings. Now the reason for that is because, well number one, I selected Bing as my search engine, so let's be honest, uh, I am not insane. Uh, but number two, and the actual serious answer is because if the device still retains any kind of uh, remnants of the old verification methods, performing a reset of it through settings will remove those fully. So all you would need to do is navigate to settings and scroll all the way down to, which one would it be? About phone? Nope. Oh, there we go, system. So in system, you'll find reset options and then erase all data, erase all data. If you have your pin, again, put it in and then select erase all data once more. This will then begin factory resetting your phone and obviously it will take a couple minutes to finish up and once it's completed, you'll be taken back to the setup of your device. But at that point, you can set up your phone in whatever way you want to as it will be fully unlocked. So that is the last thing that I recommend just to ensure that everything is uh, fully removed in terms of the well, security that was previously used on the device. Now with that being said, hopefully you found this video helpful and if you did, don't forget to smash like, subscribe and thanks for watching.